Hey, it's Nikki Thompson and welcome to uh, Gorgeous Monday. I am down by the, the lake this morning. I have just come back yesterday afternoon from a three-day retreat down on the Gold Coast at Guingana. Uh, it's the most amazing thing. I went with my sister. We had the best time. We spent most of our days um, just relaxing. Uh, my whole body felt completely relaxed, even like my uterus. It was like relaxed. Um, and it's not always relaxed. And my sister, we were talking about it as we're in this gorgeous crystal steam room. It was phenomenal. And um, yeah, we were just talking about my tense, my tense uterus. Um, because yeah, I just noticed that that's where I hold a lot of my tension. Um, and even that was relaxed. So that was great. It was amazing. It felt phenomenal. We went, uh, they had like this crystal steam room, which we would use. And then they had like this outdoor shower. So we would go and have a gorgeous shower and then go back in the steam room, in the shower, back in the steam room. It was fantastic. Like it just felt phenomenal. Um, we had massage, we had, um, this big bath full of flowers and essential oils and salts and things like that. It was just so relaxing just so relaxing and the food was pretty good there were a few dishes that weren't fabulous but um yeah it was okay um and they had this gorgeous oh two infinity pools one right near uh like overlooking this rainforest and we went there the first afternoon and we saw this gorgeous peacock and he had his feathers flirt out and it was the most magical thing I'd ever seen. It was amazing. And it was like the blues and the aqua and the, oh my God, it was just, it looked fake. Like it just looked fake, but it was real. And it was this beautiful peacock and he kept kind of moving around and, um, oh, it was amazing. It was so amazing. Uh, we saw loads of wallabies. We even saw a snake yesterday. Um, yeah. And in one of the classes I did yesterday, I hurt my knee. I kind of, uh, on Saturday actually, I twisted my knee a little bit and that like swelled up and it wasn't great, but um, it kind of just made me slow down a little bit more, which is probably what I needed. But there are quite a few things that I learned from being at that retreat. And one of the first things is actually to chew your food more and I have always been in the habit of kind of eating fairly quickly um, and not really taking the time to sit down and have a meal. Um, often breakfast is on the run while I'm taking the kids to school. Uh, lunch might be like while I'm working and dinner can be with the kids. Sometimes it's, I don't even eat dinner. Um, and it was just more of taking the time to eat and sit and relax with my food because you know I always have stomach issues and I realize it's not what I'm eating it's how I'm eating um, so that was a big lesson and uh, because I've always focused on the what I was eating um, but I eat quite healthy but it's just more I don't slow down and I think stress levels really impact my digestion and stress levels really impact pretty much my weight um, and all of those things so I feel as though that was a big wake up moment for me um, also the amount of food that we were fed wasn't huge amounts of food but I was okay like I would be hungry by the next meal which is what you want um, and it was just smaller portions but you know lots of little things like a little bowl of soup a little bit of salad a little bit of veggies you know things like that I really enjoyed eating like that so that's something I'm going to take away and incorporate into my day-to-day -day life um other lessons were um taking more time to chill like not watching there were no tvs there so um not watching television not just scrolling on social media on my phone um actually relaxing deep relaxing as opposed to just like distracting myself and I noticed that I use my phone and television to just keep myself distracted but I'm never really processing emotions I'm never really um relaxing properly my body's always in this state of being stimulated 
so that was really good so kind of um learning that I can survive without my phone there was no not much reception up there at all um so and we weren't allowed our phones anywhere on the property except for in our bedroom uh so that was something I wanted to um start to bring back at home of leaving my phone in the kitchen I can still hear it ring and not to have it on the couch and scrolling and then the final thing was based on a an amazing class that we did with Anthony um, it was a stretch class and it was like a dynamic movement class it was fucking amazing and it made me realize I need to stretch more because our flexibility and our own body strength and stability is all that really matters because that can help prevent injury it can help um, prevent illness even by being more flexible, being able to move better. And um, the fact that I hurt my knee real made me realize that I wasn't as flexible as or as stable as I'd like to be. Um, so that's definitely the probably on par with actually a lot of, I learned a lot over this weekend and I've written it all down um, and I'll probably do a post about it as well. So that was f- phenomenal. Like I just loved it, loved it, loved it. It was amazing to have three solid days with my sister as well. We haven't done that for probably 12 years. Um, and we just got to spend so much time together, which was great. So I really enjoyed it. Um, also this week on the podcast, I've got a three part series all about the masculine feminine energies. It's like a beginner's guide. So today is part one. So next week you get part two, the week after part three. So be sure to go and listen to that. You can find it on iTunes, Spotify, Stitcher. It's called Tea with Nikki, Embracing Your Sexual Energy. And you um, can also find it on my website. So let me know if you need any links and I can send them to you. Just send me a message. I hope you have the most epic week this week. We're kicking it off with a gorgeous Monday. And I will chat to you again tomorrow. Bye.